make sure to show you that I am on FRP. I have connected to my router. So I'm just gonna show you that the FRP is on, as you can see right here. Once you know you're in this, you can't really go around it, all right? So let's hope this works. I've been looking at some videos online and I think I found it, so let's see. Let's go ahead, turn on TalkBack. So right here, go ahead, turn it on. TalkBack on, TalkBack tutorial. Showing items one to three of five. All right, let's just go ahead, bring up the TalkBack settings. TalkBack settings, it lists nine items. Talk back settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and disable the talk back for a little bit. So just press on on the volume up and down buttons. Suspend talk back. To suspend talk back. it. Okay, talk back suspended. All right, so once you've done that, scroll and click on help and feedback. So right here, click on about switch access for Android. Click on this, let it play. Then click right here where it says switch access for Android, all right? So now you're in YouTube. Let's go ahead, pause that. Click the share icon right here and share it to Gmail. Now down here, we're just gonna go ahead and click done. Now what we're gonna do here is put in an email address. Now don't put in a Gmail address. Use a Yahoo or Hotmail or whatever. All right, I have a Hotmail, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a Hotmail. So I put the email in, I'm just gonna go ahead, click next, next. And then right here, you just click on take me to Gmail. All right, so here, click on settings. Right here, click on manage accounts. Click continue, and you're in the settings menu. All right, now once you're into the settings menu, all you need to do is go ahead and click on general, click location, and turn on location right here. Click agree, click yes. All right, now come down here, click on location history, click these three dots right here, Click view and manage. Then go ahead, click the back arrow. Now it should be in Google Maps. All you need to do now is just click on. All right, so put your location right here. Then just put a location nearby. Click on start. All right now it should be doing that now what you need to do right here is just go ahead click on the microphone icon and say open google now once that is done you're able to go to the google search bar and from there you can type in settings and it'll bring you to the settings menu Now, once you're in the settings menu, just go ahead to the app section and click on the show system apps. Once you're in there, you're gonna to need to force close a few apps and clear the cache and data, all right? So what I did here, I went to the setup wizard, both of them and force close the apps as well as clear the cache and data. And I did the same thing to the Google Accounts Manager. Now, what I'm hoping to do here is to restart the device and have it just bypass the whole setup part, all right? Right here, I'm able to see where I can put in a name, add a fingerprint or not. That wasn't showing up before, all right? 
also as you can see right here you have a little agreement section where you can click on and go through now, after accepting the agreement and clicking next it brought me back to the same thing where i need to set up the device all right so right here i was kind of freaking out trying to figure out how to bypass this frp that i remembered a video that i watched some time ago so as you can see right here if you scroll down in the agreement section there's actually a number right here so go ahead find that number in the agreement section click on that number and as you will see the phone dialer will appear so that's great this is what we need to go on to the next step so just erase the number that you see there click on star number sign star number sign four six three six number sign star number sign star and some of you guys might notice the code already it'll bring you to this testing page right here Go ahead click on usage statistics and then go back out and it'll bring you to the settings menu some of you might be wondering well we were already in the settings menu so what's different this time we'll just wait and see all right now if you go to the settings menu go to backup and reset it's still not going to be available to be reset all right however if you go to the security sections you're not able to check unknown sources now that's exactly what we need to be able to install various apps all right so this is one step further to achieving that frp bypass now once we've turned on unknown sources, we're now able to install various apps. One of the key apps that we need for this to work is this app here called Sidebar. Now what I did was just put it on a flash drive and use an OTG cable and connected it to the device. All right, you can use a micro SD card or SD adapter. It doesn't really matter. Just have something external if your phone doesn't have a micro SD slot. All right, now let's go ahead, put this Sidebar app on there along with another app called Shortcut Maker. I'll put the links for that in the description box down below. All right. Just go ahead, put these two ABKs on whatever storage device you have, connect it to your phone, and then just go into the storage section of the settings menu and install them, all right? Now the sidebar app is really essential because with this you're able to navigate around the UI without fumbling too much with the whole setup wizard, all right? And it actually works when you boot the device up. So if you need to restart the device for some reason, it'll be there at boot and you don't need to go through the whole process of getting to this point, all right? So let's go ahead and install the sidebar apps and from there you can add various apps to the bar at the side, okay? So what I did here, I added Chrome, settings menu, file manager, stuff like that, all right? Now after we've installed those apps, what we need to do is go ahead and disable just a few more apps, okay? We're going to be disabling a bunch of Google apps. Now, I didn't catch everything here because I was following a, another tutorial online. Now just go ahead, go into your settings menu as usual, go to the app section, click show system apps, and you're going to go ahead and disable these apps here. I'll list them on the screen right now. Now once you've done that, go to the shortcut maker, click on search and type in setup wizard. So after you type in setup wizard, you're going to click on the one right here that says com.android.lg setup wizard dot setup home in it. All right. Go ahead, click that and then click launch. So after you click on launch, it's going to take you back to the initial setup home screen. All right. Now from here, what we need to do is try to crash the setup wizard. All right. Now with this, you need to have a lot of patience and you need to move really fast. All right, guys, I'm going to just pause the video right here to kind of explain what happened next, all right? So at this point, I was trying to crash the system. It wasn't working for some time. I was doing over and over and over. It wasn't working. I got frustrated. I stopped report and I sat down. And I was like doing the same thing over and over. Just trying to press next, keep going, going, going back. Just keep starting over and over. And surprisingly, it actually worked. I was so shocked. I like, I kind of freaked out. I hit record and I started to record again. All right, so it did work. This is not a lie. It's not a gimmick or anything like that. It definitely did work because I mean, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah. And let's jump back into the video. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, oh my gosh. I kept playing with it. I'm not even gonna lie, you guys. I kept playing with it until it actually crashed. Like, I would not. I stopped recording because I was getting frustrated. And I just sat there and I kept pressing stuff and pressing stuff and I just kept pressing the back button right here next. Oh my god, I should have got it on camera. 
Oh my god! And then I saw the little thing that says some options to go ahead, and I was like, holy fuck! Sorry for the curse word. But like, guys, this works! I've been doing this for days! Days, my brother! Days! I've been doing this for days! Oh my gosh, guys, this actually works! Like, this work, guys, this work! Oh my gosh, like, this work! Android 7.0, April 1st, 2017, alright? And it works. Backup and reset, boom, it's highlighted. I'm gonna do this shit right now. So like, guys, that's how you do it. Like, I saw different stuff where you had to do some, um, a bunch of terminals and decal, and that was really complicated. And I just found this one video that said, just try to crash the, the wizard, the set wizard. And I was like, I just gotta try that. That seems like it's gonna work. You just disable all the Google stuff and try to crash this system, and it worked. Oh my gosh, guys, like I'm freaking out right now. You guys have no idea how relieved I am. Like, oh, damn, 40%. Let's try this. Let's freaking try to reset this right now. Like, I, I gotta have this. Oh, it has to be 30%. Okay, okay. Alright, guys, so like, that's how you do it. Try to crash this. I'm, I'm not aligned at all. It definitely works. Alright? Yeah, it's the same for it works. So I'm gonna leave this. 30% and I'm going to reset this thing. Alright guys, so it's at 32% right now, so I'm just going to go and reset it, alright? So and yeah, reset, goodbye FRP. Another one done guys, another one done.